I've never seen Cats either. All I know is that it has um, really, really, really funny character names. Like Rum Tum Tugger. Rum Tum Tugger and, and Skimble Shanks are like really hilarious words that are super fun to say. <laughs> it also has almost no plot, despite being entirely exposition songs, basically. Well, it's based off of a poem that's like what... <clears throat> couple of pages long at most and it was written by t.s Eliot, and that guy didn't even have a caps lock or a shift key on his keyboard so fuck him <laughs> didn't even have caps lock what good <laughs> are you <laughs> i'm t.s Eliot. i start every i i only use lowercase letters i think he also had capitalization <laughs> no he didn't did he not you can you can have capitalization without caps lock. Am I am I fucking up right now? Hold on. I'm Is TS Elliot famous I, I, for never capitalizing or something? No. Is he anti capitalist right now? No. <laughs> yes, TS Elliot was a was a Marxist. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I think I'm fucking up. You're talking Ian about Cummings didn't use capital letters. Well, he right? was too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. E.E. E. Cummings. Okay, I'm I'm pulling up a picture of an E.E. E. Cummings poem because that's the... I trust that more than a text adaptation right, of it. The server's now open, e. E. Cummings. fucking weirdo. E.E. E. Cummings. I see nary a capital letter, so... If T.S. Eliot... Also, Nary. didn't use capital letters. Then we know that he's just a ripoff of E.E. E. Cummings. Yeah, that's and that's, you know that's how boils down media to. works. <laughs> yes, exactly. You crack the code. Every he, code. He he, he, co he copyrighted um, bad punctuation. Bad bad. I don't know. That I guess he e saved money because coming. lowercase letters take up less ink. So I think that he was maybe E.E. E. Cummings was just cheaper to print. <laughs> If you make your name have as few letters as possible, like two E's and two M's, then you can save money on the budget. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he was writing poems like with a fucking Gutenberg, like movable type press. You don't know. You don't know his life. I do know. He was. I can. I was reading Wikipedia. I can get a pretty decent idea of what his <laughs> life is like. That's the answers page. All right, let me, it has all the answers. Let me tell you. Yeah. E.E. E. Cummings, often stylized as E.E. E. Cummings, is attributed to many of his published works. I wait, I read that sentence really, really wrong. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start the show. <laughs> many of Tom Clancy's novels are attributed to Tom Clancy. <laughs> like, wow, thanks, Bert. I'm glad you had to go to Wikipedia for that, that one. Highlight. <laughs> it would be awful if that wound up in a highlight video. That's, we have a higher standard did, than that. Oh, that's good. That's, where did, uh... It's not like the... the I'm not that low on the barrel already. <laughs> Alright, where oh, did so we, many gifts. It looks, like an, it looks like an alien invasion. What does? All the, all the gifts on the horizon? Come up here. I made a tower uh, behind the base. Over, Come to me. Watch, look, the base. At, look at your look at your Skyrim compass and find me. I'm looking then, at my Skyrim compass and find you. Yeah, come up, you just, come up here like and then just time. I'm heading right look, towards look around right the horizon now. and just see the fucking like gift oh, hellscape geez. in every direction. <laughs> like it looks like an it invasion. Like, <laughs> it's so <laughs> menacing. Yeah, it looks like we're just looking out and we're just like yeah. we don't have much time left. Images with a copper. menacing aura. <laughs> oh, this game has fall damage. No, no, no. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Don't worry, just eat some berries. Uh, I think we're in. I think progress wise, we're in the middle of dealing with with the uh, research. I mean, that's always true, but I'm like in particular, I think we're just trying to create whatever the research says and yeah, jam it there. in there because we can't make much of note until we get to a certain milestone. Yep. Oh. Pretty sure this is seven <clears> days see. of streaming in a row. Did you get fired? I mean. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, that's the best compliment you, I think I've gotten. Did you get <laughs> fired? <laughs> I want to make the uh, awesome sync because we've never been audience. Uh, that's a good one. Actually, let's do a. Uh, let's do logistics. We'll do logistics. Mark 2. 
It's yeah, been you... really interesting rediscovering the things of my personality that make me a human being and like, oh yeah, these are my hopes and dreams. See you in a while because I go back to work on Monday, but it was yeah. nice to, like meeting up with you as an old friend. <laughs> you were fired by Christmas. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that's our but that's our milestone. To... Logistics Mark II. Logistics Mark it'll II. make us it'll, it'll give us more faster earth thingies. That's good. We can fail faster good. this way. I'm gonna check. Do we have research unlocked yet? Do we not it's have like research unlocked. Buying a Santique to say that you're gonna learn how to draw with it. No, you'll just he is space You'll just fail faster with the Santique. Yeah, I remember when I bought a bamboo tablet. <laughs> I found it. Uh, Everyone makes that mistake. I think I lost it again, but I found it recently. <laughs> In like a box oh, yeah? I was going through looking for other things. Wait, the, the calendar's still here. Why is there an advent calendar? Day. Um, Because it's not advent yet. Can I turn off Christmas? <laughs> I just like... Probably. It's been long. It's after. It's like it's about to be. It's about to be 2021. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyone watching this? Uh, happy. Uh, uh, we're, we're recording the video this again. We're recording this session New Year's Eve. So if you hear any loud sounds, it's because people don't know what time it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you hear loud sounds, then somebody fucked up a little early. <laughs> yeah, that happens because... constantly. Oh yeah, people have been setting off fireworks for the past couple of minutes because they have fireworks and they're like. I Ooh. could wait, but also I have fireworks, so... Yeah. That's, I, could, I could wait, you know. but I've been doing that all year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Waiting's all I do anymore. Uh, what was this last thing? Reinforced iron plates. I could probably hand, crack, hand crank. I could probably make those right over here, is the words. That's what people do uh, that don't live in an industrial society. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to make 50 of them? Oh, that's going to take yeah. a little bit of time. <clears throat> no, it's pretty uh, bad. It's okay. Vamp. Vamp, vamp. While staring at a screen <laughs> that doesn't even move. Yep. Vamp, 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 vamp. The best part of right vamp. now um, is that my, plates. My, uh, my right contact tore. So I'm trying to, I'm trying very hard to ignore your the fact right that um, contact? I have a... Oh, yes, I have oh a, your eyes. Yeah. I basically have a small piece of plastic that pokes me in the eye every time I blink, and I'm trying to play it off as if it's not happening, but it's also starting to drive me completely fucking insane. Wait, you're keeping it in? Well, I mean... Don't you have glasses? We're recording, Keith. But I've seen you wear glasses. <laughs> Why don't you just put glasses on instead of... Glasses. of... What? Because... Because I'm using a webcam and my glasses don't have anti like reflection. <laughs> you're you're gonna it. suffer for your art. I am. Gonna this is YouTube. This is for art. people that don't care. <laughs> well, they're gonna. I'm gonna make them care. This webcam. This and now they're gonna feel guilty. <laughs> this webcam like causes you their pain. All they're the deriving time. their entertainment from me while I'm like sitting here suffering. Every How day we're suffering, suffer, suffering, suffering, suffering. If you're suffer, watching suffer, this suffer. right now, uh, if you're watching this right now, you know what? Just gonna go ahead and say fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? You enabled my pain by I know. Uh, collectively I'm... generating about twenty cents over the course of two hours. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm that means it's here. your fault. I'm over here just, just monetizing. Are you grabbing all the rods? Damn it! I need the rods. Why? Trying to make another storage. Th uh, I, I, I'm trying to expand our, our our factory over here so that it also makes a hardened iron plates with some of them. Oh, good idea. So that it doesn't just sit here and have to. Because we, it keeps coming up, obviously. And eventually it'll come up a lot more and we'll have to scale up. But. Yeah. This could be our starting point. Well, uh, while you do that, I guess I'm, I'm only. I need a, I have I can make 39 reinforced iron plates. How many can you make? Do you have any on? I guess what I meant to ask is do you have any on you? Um, ah, fuck. Uh, yeah, I have 100 iron plates. Reinforced is what I meant. I don't have any reinforced cuz okay. I made. Well, I'm just going to sit here pressing the craft button and trying <laughs> to not blink with my right eye and Oh my god, dude. What? It's not worth it. Keith, <laughs> Just take it out. No, Keith. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Right now, <laughs> I have something I can complain about, and you're telling me to just 
throw that away. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's your process. Yes. You have two modes, oh, complaining and no, online no. fetishes. No, Lady, <laughs> Lady Bird just came in and gave me some high-performance, sustained, ultra-lubricating eye drops. I don't think that'll fix a torn thing, though, will it? Well, it'll... It'll make me stop complaining for a second. No, it won't. You know Nothing what? can. <laughs> We've been trying for years. <laughs> complaining is your superpower. <laughs> You literally make your setup more complicated so that it can go wrong. No. Yes. It's not going wrong right now. I finally learned how to make it not go wrong as often. <laughs> how long is that going to last? Uh, Until you get bored and have the next thing. I don't think thing. I can make it any more complicated. You're like, look, now it spins. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do next is like hook up like an Andrew's soundboard or something like that. So I can yes. be like... Like, wasn't that a great little joke? Boring? Yep, you just went and had an oh. idea. Damn, that's a problem. No, we're not doing that. Yep, and then you're gonna I'm have a, going you're to... gonna incorporate a chat like voting system that's on screen and live. Oh God, no! Then it, I mean, that's actually way easy. All you need to do is just hook up um, uh, Streamlabs. So, you know, uh, I do use Streamlabs, but to hook up like a that sort of chat integration, you have to pay money, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, what do you take me for? Somebody who would pay for I things? Prefer to, I prefer to handcraft every single thing I do, regardless of how long it takes me or how shitty of a job I do, instead of paying somebody else to do things for me. What did I fuck up here? I don't know. Arrow thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I got arrows backwards, didn't I? Yeah, we currently have one of the worst kinds of bases because it's just making like one of everything. But it'll hopefully get us to the part where we can then try to make a base that's smart. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally in enjoying your positive vision for the future. Maybe yeah. in 2021, am I right? That's, yes, in 2021. Hell, if we which play long enough, it'll become 2021. So... <laughs> which is, yeah, I guess, I guess we could make that happen tonight if we just sat down and dedicated ourselves to it for no particularly good reason. Content. <laughs> I can't. My contact lens is torn into my own eyeball, and you're asking me <laughs> to just to just yeah. sit here in pain and suffer to it's make. The, it's an endurance challenge of how long will it take before a bird caves and just fixes a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! When a minor annoyance meets a lazy human being, what did happens? I a, did I have a bad plan? I do, mean, do reinforced no. plates require more than one, one more than one item? <laughs> Probably do. They require reinforced. It, it's uh, iron and screws. Oh, and screws. Okay, screws are here. That's good. Yeah, but, the, but it doesn't mean I have to yeah. make the thing that combines things. Shit. Yeah, which I don't think we've unlocked that yet. I think. No, I think we, no we have a. Uh, we have it. I think. Oh, we have the the combiny factory. This base is gonna need a big revamp once we have throughput, because. Uh, I already hate walking around it. I can't tell. That. It's a bunch of identical looking buildings that all do different things. I can't tell which one's which. I like how we. I think that the space is honestly worse than our last base. Oh, fuck, at we least need motors. at this state, it's not oh, yeah. great. This place has like way more like shitty rocks. Uh, yeah. And other annoying things. Let's, I'll just get rid of this for now. Well, I need to fix this later. So the other thing is that um, on the old base, we had like this array of iron smither thingies. We had more smeltery we, dudes. Oh yeah, and we had more starting resources. Yeah. With this base, everything is like we actually don't. We hardly have anything at all. Um, yeah, we didn't. We didn't necessarily pick the best starting location. Well, neither of us knew how to use the uh, the radar at first, so we're just like, yeah, this looks like a nice big flat area. This will be fine. Are you still chonking your way through reinforced plates? Um, that's a very, very weird verb, but yes, I'm done. Oh, hey. Logistics Mark Two. Yeah. Now we can now we can fail fast. I almost deleted our entire oh, wait, base. I already made that joke. Clicky clicky. Yay. Talk to me, lady. 
Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. Right. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now you. have a stackable variant. There we are. So now we have forever to figure out how to put that there. We have version okay, two so belts that, now, so we have way more bandwidth. And we need to do iron, reinforced iron plates to do it. Well, um, good thing you just made the reinforced iron platery. That's where man, no, I never made it. Oh, <laughs> I was on my way to making Lord. it, but I, I realized that I need to make the other thing, which means I need to make motors first or rotors. There we go. Ah. That, I need to get that done now. Did I get enough for that? Okay, well, no. I'm going to just Shit. go through, around our base like, um, like Johnny Appleseed, but instead right. it's Johnny Conveyor Belt. Conveyor Mark II. And just upgrade all of our conveyor belts, yeah. Yep. I don't know what the throughput of each device is, but I think Conveyor Mark 1s are slower than the mining is. I think our yeah, mining starts out glacial. faster than that. Which means the mines, yeah. I think that means the miners can output more if the belts can move the resource fast enough. But since yeah, miners only so have one output, you can't output them faster by just yeah. adding belts. Yeah, so basically the issue is that the, um, the miners are like, effectively they're just waiting behind like a slow person on the sidewalk and they're just constantly just like, ah, ah. And I feel bad for them, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna reinforce the sidewalk to yeah. stretch this metaphor thin real quick. <laughs> I also just realized that Ma'am, I think, is a new building. Nah, we haven't built it yet, so I'm gonna build I think that. It is a new building. Yeah. I thought that I think Ma'am used to be in our office, and it used to be the research thing where you like plugged like a, oh. a horn into it that you found or whatever. It's like I know a new recipe. Uh, but I think we have to build MAM separately, so I'm gonna put it next to our main base because that makes sense. I think okay, I just got enough yeah. resources. I hope that doesn't screw everything up, but um, no, it just go right I here. I mean, if it does, it's your responsibility. It's just so... it's just right here next to Ooh, the second care. workbench because we need a second one whenever we have two players. Oh yeah, no second second work workbench. You know exactly where that is. Alien organ. Ooh, ooh, fancy looking. Ooh. It's got a, there's a whole skill tree now. There's a Christmas tree research tree? There's, no, there's not a Christmas tree research tree. Yes, there is. <laughs> God, can they get any worse? Let's all fail together. Oh. I'm gonna put flower petals in here. See how that goes. Start research. It's researching flower petals. Neat. Researching flower petals. <laughs> What is ah. this? Biology? Researching flower petals teaches us how to build the color gun. Which if is helpful for labeling. this is biology class, then it's going to teach me about evolution, and I don't believe in <laughs> that. Get it together, creationist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, distinctly, I distinctly remember how um, my high school biology teacher introduced the evolution um, segment, which was straight out of the gate. She was just one or one of my favorite teachers of all time. She was incredible. So, and so she just comes straight out of the gate and, uh, before I even knew what was happening. She just goes in front of class and she's like, all right, I don't care what Evan your opinions are. We're going to go through this lesson. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, that's an aggressive way to start this. And then she was like, we're talking about evolution today. And I was like, ah, say no more. <laughs> Some people are just kind of fucking she crazy. Great teacher. They're just fucking crazy. Very, very no nonsense. Like I, just I had, awesome. I had the weird. It, it was very strange. Like for example, living in a uh, going through launched. geology when one of the classmates thought the world was two thousand years old. And it's like that. Two thousand, not even or three thousand or whatever like the is, whatever the magic religion okay. number is. And I'm like, uh, I think it's six thousand, actually. When I look at that, I'm when I look sorry, at that. I'm totally distracting from your story. Anyway. <laughs> It's just, it's just like, in order to believe that, like, what? It's so like, are you just going through school, like, 
the, learning it the way I learned like the plot of Harry Potter. Like it's just like a fun story you're gonna yeah. study for years, but never believe in any of it. But then also like ironic, like take a job in it in like an ironic fashion, like as a funny joke. <laughs> like what? Uh, what is what is happening? I, I uh, I'm I'm super bothered by like. Um, wow, this is really just a very complaining stream, but that's okay. It's the end of 2020. We got to sneak it in. Um, mm -hmm. I'm super bothered by like uh, anti-vax um, nurses in particular. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Confusing. I read a, uh, an article earlier today about um, a hospital worker who intentionally left out like something like four or five thousand um coronavirus vaccines um they left them intentionally outside of a refrigeration unit because they wanted them to spoil oh. and i was like wow mother oh. <laughs> like that is that's just that is world sabotage that is awful jesus so a comment on the article was like, was like, my body, my choice. Also, your body, my choice. I was like, damn. <laughs> That's, yeah. 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 That's how it go. Anyway, uh, if people that are watching this in 2021, um, feel free to leave a comment. And, <laughs> hope you uh, still have internet. <laughs> Yeah, food. Things have gone all right for you. Then. Hope the world's not literally on fire yet. Yeah, I hope you've all uh, enjoyed um, like, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> right, you're all doing that right now. <laughs> respond if <laughs> that's the thing. I just I just think of the comments you always see. They're like, respond if you're seeing this in 2023. Shh. It's been a whole year. Respond of every... if you're seeing this in three weeks, and I'll be impressed. Yeah. I have what I have played so many plague adjacent games and so it's been a whole year of like well this really hits different in in current month of current year and that's just been like <laughs> my comment section for all of those different games continuously <laughs> some more mm -hmm. fitting than others like vampire or vampire is like oh wow it's about a plague but it's like less interesting than pathologic but then there's pathologic one and two which they should be commenting on but then they don't really no one ever knows mm -hmm. that that exists but it's more fitting but then there's fucking like it's... the we then there's the weird ones because the weird ones are like when they say that about like uh, what's it called uh, like Resident Evil and you're like eh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I really, never really don't really generally read Resident Evil as being like a what is it a uh, like a plague allegory that strongly it always feels a little yeah. weird. Oh, th this is a weird screen. So it shows biomass on the tree, but I don't put biomass in to make it. I put in plates. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shit. Shit. It's 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 social media comments that um, make me sometimes think like, Kamiya. Hideki Kamiya has it totally figured out, which is if you tweet at him with no matter what the subject matter is, he'll insult you and block you. It's glorious. Just anyone that tweets at him for any reason. Basically. That's probably a healthy way to ha handle uh, all of social media. <laughs> I think, um, like, is, somebody is, even, is, like, is Kamiya the guy that made the Jet Force Rape Bayonetta. Jet Set? Oh. Yeah. Bayonetta, um, Shenmue. Maybe not Shenmue, Onimusha, maybe? I don't know. But Bayonetta, I think, is like this most famous thing. <laughs> Those are very Wait, separate things. Oh shit, hold on. Okay, hold on. I, I guarantee you the guy that made Bayonetta did not make Shenmue. I can definitely draw a line okay. there. Okay, my bad. Let me, let me, let me in stop fact, spreading I don't, fake news. Uh, in fact, Shenmue's not even Capcom. Okay. Okay. You, you fool. You lying fool. You're supposed All to right. bring good to the world, but you brought lies. Hideki Kamiya made Bayonetta, Beautiful Joe, Okami. Uh, so he's the platinum guy. 
Yeah, he's platinum. He's platinum games. Okay. I'm bad My at Japanese. Bad, I struggle with Japanese I names. Time, I took the time to try and to try and do right and not spread um, misinformation. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. You'll but never, no, uh, you'll never I survive remember... being a social media influencer that way. If you're gonna like check what you say. Yeah. I need to. I need to start making prank videos where the prank is on anybody watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you, you've made those before. That's I true. fell for one of your pranks, your quote-unquote Half-Life 2 video. <laughs> you you keep mentioning it, and I keep saying don't mention it. And yeah, no, I'm going to keep mentioning do. it. I'm going to keep mentioning that time that you made a video that's like Half-Life 2 Part 1 Finale, and it's you playing a toilet game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the whole video. Is you playing I a fuck? That I made a fucking. The whole video is you playing a toilet, toilet game. Sim, or what was it, Toilet Tycoon or whatever? Which I thank you for reminding me that that exists. Toilet Tycoon is the worst video game ever made. I and believe it is, you. It is unbelievably easily. I, there aren't words to describe how bad Toilet Tycoon is. It's, uh, <laughs> I took those screws, fuck God you. damn it. I'm, try, I'm a, trying to make rod. the assembler to make the hards, but I need to uh. I'm, I'm making the hards by hand so that I can... I'm, I'm cranking I just, I, up hard I need, stuff I need, over I need here, enough you know hards for an assembler so I can make an assembler that makes hards. Well, I'm over here making all of our conveyor belts go go fast because I'm making them all hard. So <laughs> I'm, I'm making our base all excited and turgid. So it turns out uh, we can't proceed down down the uh, research tree past some of these somewhat more superfluous mm -hmm. things until we make a. Uh, we actually already have the space elevator. Yeah. The special tab has the hub, the MAM, and the space elevator. So we need a space okay. that we need that, and that's a lot of parts. <laughs> but then, well, once, you know, then we, we can start sit back and getting new trees. But we can also upscale our game. base over time, hopefully. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Yeah, Hideki Kamiya. Uh, oh yeah. Here. I think my favorite thing is the the super. What, what, no, no, no. Sorry, the Mega sixty four people like tweeted at him after making a video with doing what they do, which is, you know, put on a costume and run around and make asses of themselves. And wow. So they did this video and then is that they video tweeted from, it at Is that video from 2020 or 2006? <laughs> I don't, it's, they've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Anyway, um, so they made this video, they tweeted it at Kamiya and his response was to say, it looks like shit and blocked them. <laughs> <laughs> which, they then, which they then made another video about, which was them getting very, very upset after reading Kamiya, just like insulting them directly. <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, Kamiya, you're such a, oh, I respect the hell out of you. One of my favorite gags they had was how they kept, uh, they kept making an, uh, like, there was like an odyssey about all, of, all these times where every time uh, a Halo game comes out every few years, there's a Cabela game that comes out the same day. There's a what? There's always a Cabela game the same day as every Halo release, oh. or at least there was back then. So it was, it was like an hey. ongoing legacy of, of like... Hey, hey, don't go away. Okay. Evil conspiracy Halo is there to fuck over the Cabela makers. You're just floating. I found a solid flower. Yeah. Pretty solid flower. Thanks. How many birds can dance on the head of a solid flower? <laughs> what, what did you just dub that in? Like it's just spliced <laughs> from two different audio? How many bird heads can dance on a <laughs> solid flower? <laughs> I've, I've had some or creative like solid, audio edits. Flower. I've done some creative audio edits yeah. in the past when I wanted to like censor something or remove a particular conversation without it being like a weird empty gap. Uh-huh. Creative boy. Badoop. Okay. I'm calling myself creative and you can't stop me. It's called self-care. <laughs> oh, okay. That's uh, probably gonna be a big thing on uh, uh, in, in 2021. What? Is Oh, it's the height. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I tried to I so uh, that was different. I guess that must be new. I clicked the conveyor belt on a specific spot. 
Then when I went, uh -huh. and then I wouldn't, I couldn't move, and I was like, "What's happening?" And it's like, "Oh, there's a second click where you choose after you choose where the conveyor goes. You then choose the height of that anchor point as a separate click." It's really interesting. It will take huh. some getting used to. Okay, so I'm trying to put screws and plates plating? into here. That's a new one. Shit, this conveyor is really small. Does it? Are we gonna have room? You know how to put stuff on your bar? Because I can't figure out how to put stuff on my... Do I just press 5? Okay, there we go. Uh, you just press the button. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, this is me that you love me more. squished button. in here. 5, 6, 7 times! A lady. A <laughs> lady? <laughs> Not a lady. 10, 11. <laughs> we, we, we're thinking uh, of different songs, aren't we? Yeah. Thinking of the I awkward of Feist, counting dance then... song. And then it became two times the lady or whatever. Ah! It's in the way. It's not, it doesn't work. Uh, I need to fix it. I have to <laughs> fix it. You'll understand. Two times the lady just makes me think of it like as like the sequel to women. Like, are you ready for women too? <laughs> the sequel to <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You liked women, right, so you but do this... you like other women? <laughs> <laughs> so that'll make reinforced plates. Okay, now I just need to make the stupid poles. My favorite part. Oh, shit. If the answer to that question is yes, and the answer to the question, are you married, is also yes, then uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> then that's no boy. <laughs> There we did go. It. It's all connected. It's to finally Kala. set up. I just got distracted by the re new research man. Oh no, a weird yeah. cliff. <laughs> and now we don't have any way to put the. Put it's the cool. Shit, I'll just put the cliff here and I'll warp right it. Up against the cliff. It's fine. I'll just wrap it around. Like no, don't do that. You can't stop. That's me. gonna look ugly. You're gonna look make ugly. Make it go. Make it go down the cliff, not this. This is fine. It's Aaron just it faster, at least. Oh yeah, because I don't have that exit unlocked. Or I don't have it on my bar. Yeah. <laughs> now, oh, now baby. the one me... bar per ten minutes this thing makes can get to this one box faster. <laughs> oh, good lord! It's because not getting nearly enough screws because we're not making anything good. Well, yeah. So what we're doing is we're now we're currently making having one machine that makes e one of each of the things on this entire tree, and they're all feeding off of yeah. one source. <laughs> So it's every yes. every time we add another so, split, each thing gets half resources as it was before. So now we need to figure out how to increase our supply of iron so this whole thing starts more at the beginning. But then we also need to scale up each individual branch of this tree in the long term. Yeah. This entire so, base we've made so far will be deleted. Yeah, so what do you think that we need to do then? Search for more iron? Uh we need, more, we need more iron, and mainly because, uh, and also we just need more research too, but because uh, I think, I think the miners from later in the game had more outputs, didn't they? Well, they were significantly faster, yeah. But I think, I think they might have also had like more output ports instead of just one thing. I think they only had one output port. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so I see, <laughs> but generally, I yeah, see we, some we, iron that's we not all that a, far away. A deluge of resource. Because right now our starting point isn't very good. We probably could have picked a better spot, but also fuck it. <laughs> well, this is a aside from the lack of resources. This is a problem-solving like, game. Like spot, the thing I like about this spot is that it's very broad and flat. So in you can theory, just kind of run when, as we start scaling stuff up. It should become pretty easy to make like a very cool little vertical base. Yep, and then hopefully we can get some good research done, uh, so we can unlock coal because. Yeah. The more the base scales up, the more shitty it's going to be to gather plants in order okay. to in order to power it all. Yeah. So also kill animals if you I... see them because we need alien organisms for research. So why don't I go ahead and work on connecting more iron to the base? Well, oh shit. Oh, okay. We have a visitor. We have a we have a we have a whale. Yeah, he just Rex yeah. Friend. The flea man group the flea man group <laughs> don't step on us their only real motivation <laughs> this joke is very thin 
<laughs> Damn, really yes and with it. Ah, ah. Blue man group. I don't, really, I don't need a color. I don't need a color maker. I am curious about this nutritional mixture, but it requires like cement poles or some shit. So we're never getting that done. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm gonna try to make the space elevator because that's just an important goal. That's bottlenecking okay. basically everything probably. And the good news yeah, is we probably. currently have machines that are making all of those things. They just need to finish. <laughs> <laughs> you mean they need to demonetize? <laughs> I'm gonna demonetize. <laughs> Cursed ass joke. <laughs> uh, gross. Yes. Thanks, Passbird, for making a gross joke. <laughs> Never oh, done there that before. Yeah, is there any other kind? Okay, make the portable miner. Alrighty. Actually, I'll make two just in case there happens to be a second base over there. Alrighty, wish me luck. Hopefully there's no, like, bull head smacking ram things. I like will wish you luck, are. because it is easier than supporting you or or believing in you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for your thoughts and prayers, I get it. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. And giant pistachios. <laughs> Why are the pistachios so big in this game, bird? Ah, oh, in the video game. I was very, very confused as to what the hell you were talking about. Yeah, there's about. just pistachio <laughs> bushes everywhere, and they have, like, pistachios the size of your head. And, like, well, they're, ju they're just I mean, pistachios. When you describe it that way, when you describe it that way, you sound like you're describing, like, a fictional land to somebody. It is. Like, where we're going, they're gonna be pistachios the size of your head. <laughs> click, click. And then when I say it that way, it makes it sound like you're dying. And I'm like, keep telling me about the pistachios, man. Keep telling me about the pistachios. I can it's see them right now. It's so big, George. Stay, stay awake, stay awake. Just keep talking about the pistachios. <laughs> Help's coming. <laughs> I can almost taste that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not fair, we were so close! <laughs> End of 70 movies we've watched. <laughs> and then... And then some, like, emotional song starts playing out. And then... I don't know. The <laughs> sequel, Pistachio Man 2. Starting In the Chris arms anyway. of this other guy. <laughs> That guy fucking died. He died. <laughs> He's like dead as fuck. He's not coming back anytime soon. Jeez. That's the least comforting thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> like really? usually like emotional songs like that are like filled with like oh, here's some degree iron of like minus. hope and like being like they're in a better place now. And your version of the song is like, like, he'll make good fertilizer <laughs> when we plant him in the ground because he's so fucking dead now. <laughs> That's all he'll be useful for. <laughs> no one ever liked him anyway. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. like if Sarah McLaughlin hated dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sarah McLaughlin and Michael Vick team up to make a song cover. No. Oh. God, Michael Vick jokes are very out of date. <laughs> yeah. Those, da those, I think those jokes are old enough to gamble. I guess people normally say drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gamble's an interesting one to reach for because I think you can gamble at any age. You just can't do it in a building meant for gambling. Yeah. That's true. People it's people aren't allowed to profit off of your gambling as an establishment. But you could yeah, just like just do it. Game. You could just do it. No one can stop you. You could do it anywhere you want. 
Yeah, unless it's a video game, because loot boxes yeah, are actually just say, gambling for children with their parents' yeah, credit cards. I was going to say, there are loot boxes now. Yep. So, at, yep. Yeah. Video games uh, left ethics behind a while ago. <laughs> we better monetize children in exploitative ways. <laughs> and once they're raised with it, they'll reflexively defend it. <laughs> So they'll actually get mad at you for not for being for not liking the thing. Hey, is the grass texture like not loading very well or stuff just really popping in? Ah, it's probably my setting. Ah, who gives a shit? Maybe. My world can look weirdly flat and green. As long as the I buildings show up. Yeah, <laughs> really. No, I forgot to get iron plates. Keith, I don't have anything to, with which to make convey belts. Womp womp. How's that working for you? There's three iron things. There's three of them. Surely and I can you might as well have none. See. I forget. Oh, yeah. Smelters are their own device. Yeah. I can make those. Oh, yeah. Smelters aren't even expensive. Uh, yeah, surely I can scale this up at least. <laughs> These things are out of Smelter, Delta. Am I right? <laughs> I am, am I correct? I legitimately don't know. <laughs> no one ever answers my question. They just laugh at me. <laughs> am I right? Please, somebody tell me. I beg of you. <laughs> this version where it's a genuine question and nobody ever answers it because it sounds like a joke. Yeah. I don't actually, in I never intended to be a stand-up comedian. I just have a weird inflection to my voice and people thought I was making jokes all the time. No, you can't say that much. Because then, he then, then he's self-aware and he knows what's wrong. Oh. That just makes him a weird idiot. Because <laughs> he knows what's wrong and doesn't <laughs> fix it. Well, I mean, he can always just get angry at his audience. <clears throat> what, is he Carrot Top? <laughs> God. I've seen Carrot Top. <laughs> he was very uh, frustrated whenever people didn't laugh. That was the funniest I part. <laughs> but I, don't I think was going to say, that that part sounds like actually hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> when did you see Carrot Top? <laughs> he was in Vegas. I think probably, he's probably still in Vegas. He's got one yeah, of those I mean, fucking edgy, does. like, screaming face, like, icons advertising a show. He's such, he's so edgy and he speaks the truth. Ricky Gervais and Carrot Top. <laughs> Them's the truth speakers. They speaks the truths. No, oh, my conveyor belt doesn't have enough. Doesn't have enough iron plates. Yeah. The thought of Carrot Top being edgy, I, my brain is just like, it can't, those, it can't that's process, not a sentence. Right? <laughs> Yeah, my, my mind is like, um, whatever he just said isn't in the English language. Like, those words don't go together. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, no, Brain, it does. And it's like, you're trolling me, aren't you? And I'm like, I have a very weird internal dialogue. <laughs> my thought processes are very expository for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that let's playing for long enough conditions you to think expositorily? No. Fuck. I don't know why I said <laughs> that like it was a bad thing specifically. Damn yeah, it, my was... life goal. Re restructuring my brain. <laughs> in a way that can never be reversed reversed. <laughs> if anything, um... Yeah, I realized that I our, actually... uh, our iron's backed up. So I, I can just make a, a yeah. parallel smelter and stuff, so I'm working on that. Yeah, go for it. My, Should have um, done from the get-go. My, I, I realized that, like, my way of thinking is actually, um... I, I don't have much of an internal dialogue at all. I very, very rarely think that way. Most huh. of my thinking is actually just image-based. <clears throat> so, if I need to do something, instead of thinking, like, these are the steps I need to do, I will just visualize me doing those steps, if that makes sense. Sure. But I don't, I don't actually like, 
associate like any words or anything with it. I just associate like uh, the image of myself doing it as the thought. I think about this stuff sometimes and I'm always I'm always like kind of unsure about like how my brain works yeah. whenever I try to think about what it is. Like I don't really actually have an answer. Uh, I do talk to myself a lot when I'm working through ideas. I'll sometimes just podcast to myself essentially. Mm. Like just to finish an entire thought to myself. Uh, sometimes I'll start a thought that way, but then as I get deeper into it, I stop. Like, yeah. Well, actually, almost in, I'll start a thought that way and then I'll immediately like stop and then just switch over to like visually uh, picturing it instead, which actually I think incidentally might be why I have a fairly hard time sometimes articulating my ideas verbally, even when let's playing, because I think I'm, I'm like trying to translate like images into words somehow hmm. I, know, I know that whatever my brain is I, I can't like just sit there and listen to complicated instructions for like minutes at a time and then after minutes of exposition then like react to the thing and be like haha I will execute now oh yeah so it's like I, I can do that but the, purely if I'm doing something engineering focused uh because at that point, you know, the task is so broken down already that, like, it's actually pretty straightforward to yeah, do it that no, way. Yeah, like, like, I, I glaze but, over every single time I hear someone explain a board game from scratch, for example. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I have, I, I ultimately will only learn the game during my first round of playing it. Uh, <laughs> and same thing goes for, like, uh, I'm raiding and WoW. I'm having a good time mm -hmm. with that. But uh, I also, like... I'm 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 like I'm useless at incorporating much of any information by like listening to the raid leader explain the fight uh, wow. without me having first played the fight. Oh, interesting. So, like I need I need I need I need the I need to see what everything looks like, and then see and then have like all the weird shit that happened that killed us and stuff, and then then I have a bunch of like questions with context. Even if I don't have mm. to, see, even if I don't say the questions out loud, I'm like, oh, these are all the questions I have. To, I need to answer of like, what the fuck happened in that part? What the fuck happened in that part? And then I can mm -hmm. take answers and apply them to that context. Oh, interesting. But I can't just like have somebody just fucking blind explain an entire encounter to me with like its ten mechanics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I can I can really only do that um, if it's like engineering work. So, like, if I'm at work and somebody presents a whole project to me and they're like, these are all the steps, like, I can I can read, like, a 20, 30, 40 page engineering pro proposal with, like, a total breakdown of all of it and I'm able to hold it all in my head. But if you ask me to follow, like, a cooking recipe, I'm like, I fucking know how butter works. I'll just <laughs> figure it out, man. <laughs> it's It points to how fucking complicated brains are. Yeah. Like, if you took the two things we just said, people would say that I have ADHD. I know. Like, that's the conclusion people <laughs> would have based on the two things we just said. And it's like, that's mm -hmm. the exact opposite of our diagnoses. Mm-hmm. Or one diagnosis. I don't have any diagnoses. I don't know if I should. I was going to say <laughs> nothing. I, I was just going to politely just go, mm-hmm. But, yeah. yes. I guess it's true. I mean, um... Because we have such bad understanding of brains in general that, like, everyone's yeah. gut reactions of what they, these things would mean are also wrong. Yeah. Well, I think everybody, when they learn a little bit about normal psych, they think it applies to everything. And it's like, no, not really. Abnormal psych is just psych that's taken so far that it becomes a problem. But, like, everybody is, to some degree or another, like, ADHD or whatever. It's just yeah. like... The, it's just like, does it reach a problem where, I mean, I guess to be very, very accurate with what I'm saying, everyone has the symptoms of ADHD to some degree or another. It's just, are they enough to become debilitating? And if the answer is no, then you don't have ADHD. <laughs> yeah. That's basically it. But people learn about these mental like abnormal psych stuff and then they're like oh everybody has like this and this and this i'm a and little bit ocd it's like oh yeah is it a and i'm a little bit rock and roll is it crippling your entire life yeah or when people say that they're bipolar it's like 
Yeah, or people say they're bipolar and it's like part of like being bipolar, I think getting diagnosed with bipolar disorder is you have to have been bi hospitalized for it at some point. Like, yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty extreme requirement for getting diagnosed with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I fixed yeah, my I don't know. Like, I have such a mess. For example, to kind of could kind of really put things into perspective for me, um, the steps I'm doing right now, where I was like, oh, I should go over and um, build like some iron miner equipment, uh, was not like these are the steps I need to do to execute that. It was I looked over at the iron and then I visualized it and then I was like, okay, we'll make that happen. Hmm. But I didn't. The thing, and the thing is, the way the ADHD manifests at that point is that my image is very hazy and ha rapidly put together of like, yeah, okay, there's a miner there and there's a conveyor belt, go. Not like I'm gonna meticulously plan out like exactly where the miner is and how it's gonna be organized. It's, <laughs> yeah, it looks, it's like, and yeah, that looks And good then enough. comes our spaghetti monster base. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and it, it, is, it is already a monster again. We're gonna fix it eventually this time. Yeah, well, I'm I'm being productive by playing to my strengths, which is I could help organize the base, but let's not. And yeah. uh, instead, I'll work on getting more raw materials because that way I can put off organizing stuff up for much later. Okay. Also things aren't being accomplishing. Things aren't necessarily <laughs> organized, but there is now twice as much smelting at the beginning and then twice as much of the first phase of constructing and that's making everything down the mm -hmm. line finish up more yeah but uh yeah at but some point contrast, at like, some point we're gonna need like concrete foundations yeah. and we're gonna ruin this nature hard <laughs> oh, we're just gonna rot it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, gonna, happy I 2020 I couldn't finish saying it <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna raw dog nature. <laughs> Mother nature's about to meet daddy nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is a Rankin Bass oh. animation. <laughs> oh, oh, enough of that. <clears throat> But to contrast how my brain can work with ow, ow, getting hurt by monsters. Um, anyway, the contrast of my brain can handle like engineering stuff instead. <coughs> um, I went ahead and counted the number of lines of code that I've written for the video game I've been working on off and on for this entire year. Yeah. I have written 30,000 lines of code by myself on this one project, which is obscene. Jesus. At work, some of my largest projects um, eclipse about like fifteen to eighteen thousand lines of code, and that's with teams of like eleven to fifteen people working on them over the course of a couple of years. In like ten months, I've written thirty thousand lines of code. Have fun, it's insanity! <laughs> no, it's because no one can nothing, stop nothing you. Nothing about it has been fun. Oh, <laughs> then why are you? I mean, why, actually, why? it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> I was like, wait, then what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. I started working on it, and you know how I am when I start something. It yeah. becomes, I, I continue working on it purely out of spite. That's healthy. Yes. I mean... No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Alright, so I got a little bit of iron coming over here. Um, we, have, we have three iron miners. Um, do you want me to... Tell you what, we're gonna be tearing up so much of this stuff anyway. I'm just gonna make the iron get up here, and then we can worry about like how oh, we yeah, wanna just, just go for play it. everything out later. <clears throat> we'll fix it all later. We'll have like an entire mm -hmm. cleanup session once we Yay. have the once we're actually in a position where stuff's getting done. Yeah, where it's worth it. Because right now, it. just nothing's getting built, and it's really frustrating. No, I understand. At work, but, it's all it's always about like, eh, we'll clean it up later. Yep. There's nothing yeah. more permanent than a temporary solution. Yeah. I haven't even worked in places where that's a relevant thing, but I know it. <laughs> temporary solutions. Do you know what they are? Solutions. Don't fuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh god damn it. Shit, man, I will I will trust a battle hardened temporary solution that's been around for a couple years way before I would t test somebody coming up with a really hot new idea. I'm like, I, I agree that your idea sounds clever. This other thing has been working for five years. Let's let it continue to work for five years. Mm hmm. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it directly. You want to feel <laughs> bad about how bad it is. It's working. Yeah. It shouldn't work, Maybe. but it's working. The entire financial industry of the United States is probably held up entirely by Excel spreadsheets, so... You know what? Uh, <laughs> that it works no, for them. Made by people who are now dead. Yeah. Ugh, power lines, you curse me. At some point I'll just make 75 superfluous power cables just to increase the number of, like, surge bar <laughs> ports I have available. Mm -hmm. Like, you're just, plug you're just plugging surge bars into surge bars. You're like, just fucking work, just fucking work. I need this. God, don't the, uh... That's one of the bottlenecks, isn't it? Isn't it the, uh, don't the fast cables, the, f the fast tracks require, like, super bars? The hardened ones that are a pain in the ass to make? Uh, like yep. smart iron? Shit. Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah, yeah. Conveyor marks too require heart reinforced iron, which is oh yeah, they require currently iron. hard to make. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, I'm 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 primarily sticking to just conveyor belt mark ones for at least connecting all this distance stuff because it's not super useful yet anyway. Yeah, but, but eventually that'll become the main thorough line, the the main transport belt for that entire resource. So it'll have to be super big. I suppose. I'm also just um, but, but not first running we... everything through a single, like, bus, per se. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm making uh, a bunch of split um, conveyors. Right. That's kind of another thing that um, engineering has instilled in me. Uh, is like when you first learn about a lot of the stuff, you think like, oh man, there's all these like pre-existing tools that are already out there and people have like already solved all these problems and stuff like that. And then when you get into it, you're like, yeah, but they did a terrible fucking job yeah, with it. They're, they're mostly pretending. It anyway. They're mostly pretending <laughs> to solve problems and then hoping nobody checks their work. Yeah, and, and it becomes like, like, why should I use, like, this solution that somebody else did when it's really super bad and I can just do it myself real quick? <laughs> okay, I'll just hand smelt this stuff. I just need it out of my hands. <laughs> I, uh... I just... I, I keep getting stuck with ingots in my inventory that I want gone, but I don't want to throw them away. Mm -hmm. So I try to put them in devices that'll take them, but then those get full up. I'm like, fuck, that option's gone. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I increased our uh, both of our copper, uh, both of our iron mines and our copper mine all, all have a second smelter now. They might all be able to fit a third smelter without slowing down. But right now, I'm seeing if I can make it to the uh, yeah the big boy launcher. We should put it somewhere really scenic. The big boy launcher. Yeah, the space elevator. The scenic big boy launcher. The scenic big boy launcher. <laughs> Play it now on Xbox 360. Seen it. Scenic. That franchise is dead now. Makes it huh? sound like you're talking about like a parody of a Sonic. Of, of Scen Sonic. Sonic. Uh, I I wonder if the Seen It franchise is dead yet. Uh, I, just, I just remember is that the like S E E N I T. Seen it like it was a movie trivia series. Of like video yeah, games. Yeah. I saw I them all the that. time when I was working at Best Buy. I don't know. Um, considering movies are gone. Now, oh, yeah. Uh, they probably didn't have the best year this year. <laughs> it's just one question. Uh, from, uh, and it just says, which movies were finished this year? There's something to be said about how, like, how freeing it is to make a game that's so cheap to make like that. Because you can just really express ideas like the Jackbox people do and just, like, 
go mm -hmm. crazy with it and really balls to the wall, throw new ideas at that there. Then there's something just to be said mm -hmm. about a company that has that op uh, has that option because they're making such a low effort game, and then they just make the same game every year. And that's seen it. <laughs> that, that, that. Well, I mean, <laughs> why 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 make why why make you know creative when can make money? Yeah. 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 We are. I am not ready to make really a... producing um, iron plates at a very good rate at all. I'm ready to make a space a little oh, better. Oh, because we just have one miner on. Well, here I can fix that. I actually really easily. I have a spicilavita. Where should I put the spicilavita? The For space cool. elevator? Yeah, it's so um, big. Can you see the silhouette on the you... horizon? For me running yeah, around with it. enormous. <laughs> can you put it on top of like the like pride rock we got up over here? Like on top of the rock in the middle of our base? Yeah, let's see if it works. Uh, maybe. It will look really weird because it's so much bigger than it. I we'd know. Be we'd be looking up at... Oh my god. The floor, uh, is, the floor is too steep. Okay. We'll have to make... We just have to make a concrete floor up there. No. If we put it up there, it's gonna look like Midgar. <laughs> yeah. That might be <laughs> like, cool. Just like the, the rich people. Oh, and we that idea sounded really cool when I said it out loud, and now yeah. I want to do it. <laughs> it also means we can redirect all of the stuff that feeds into it up into the air. We can oh, literally send sounds... resources up to put it in. Oh, think... that sounds like a really cool yeah. idea. I think we just need to make okay. concrete and put it up and build a concrete floor yeah, up there. Yeah, we just need to make a bunch of foundations. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh no! Fall damage. Putting on your foundation to match your tone. That's what you told me. If it were a match, you wouldn't need it at all. Sorry, I don't. I don't listen to the pixies. <laughs> no, that's a, uh, that's a uh, an unkindness, which is by oh. Adam from YMS, which is funny because it's a, the, the song about telling a woman about her, uh, about her uh, her makeup, but he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> so the context uh, of the song say, which, gets kind of funny. <laughs> I was like, where's the funny part? Where's the funny part? And then then you drop it and I was like, there yeah, we go. That's the, the, funny the context part. The, the the fact that he, the fact that he is gay recontextualizes the entire song. It's mm -hmm. like, what is the, what's the goal here? I'm not sure. All right, so how are we going to get up to the top of this here rock? Uh, Can we make ladders or like the gel bouncy pads yet? Probably not. Uh, we're not there yet. Let's see. Actually, hang on. This might just work. We could invent way. it real quick. Oh, uh, we, we need 50 rotors to invent bounce pads. I think we, we can just make foundation. Here we go. This will probably work. Yeah. <laughs> we can make a spiral staircase all the way up. Because we do. I think we have ramps already, don't we? With, with the foundations. Yeah. yeah, so you can just like build a spiral staircase up there. Yeah, also I have a lazier idea, which is just to jump from here and then walk up the natural this is... foundation. Oh, is there like a slope there? Yeah. You are currently playing the jankest game of Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Pick up... Oh, you can, you can rip the, uh, the roots off the wall. And ruin the aesthetic of this area. Let me go. No, don't do that. The aesthetic of this <gasps> area. I can climb them. The oh, you can climb them. You can climb them. I just got a Mercer sphere. WIP. Oh, cool. Wait, you can climb the. You can climb, climb the, the roots. Vines. You can just climb the vines. Like it's Zaldor. I can't figure out how to do that. Maybe, maybe I wasn't on the right roots. Just like jump against them or something? That's like that's right where I'm you trying, are, basically. Dog. Go back to the other corner. Go to your right. Yeah, like around okay. there is where I climbed. Yeah. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna. I don't know how I did that, I'm gonna but make it was, a ramp up it there. was Nito Burrito. It'll take me just a second to do that. Okay, eight. And then 
seven. Put that there. And come up here and we're gonna throw another ramp. Ah. Well. You see how it is? Oh, I didn't plan it ahead very well. No. <laughs> no, you did not. That is yeah. okay. Well, uh, among other things, I ran out of, I don't have enough concrete to build the uh, structure now. Oh, mm. the space elevator? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Let's see. Oopsie. Oh, I just threw a random foundation down onto the floor there, didn't I? Uh, can I do unbuild it for me? Yes, I can. Hello. There we go. Oopsie. Our, uh, your floor and the floor that I was building off of are totally misaligned, which is uh, going to make this real interesting. Everything's fine. Just cover up our mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got to I make guess enough, we really only need. I think I need to make a big just... enough floor to build it. Yeah. Let's make a big enough floor and then I'll like pretty up the stairs later or something. <laughs> it's it's <fine>. really big. <laughs> Daddy. I don't know what this is going to work. <laughs> I think it's going to work. It might take a little bit of time, but that's just in the middle. This takes some time. The little girl, you're in the middle of the ride. Everything, everything will be you all just right, fine. all right. Here's a chance to <laughs> dance at the <laughs> Space <laughs> Jam. What? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Shake Every it, shake, shake, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid vector. Almost. It's windmill, super close. windmill. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm out of concrete. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem because concrete's one of the ingredients of the building. Oh, <laughs> Gotta go figure well... out how to get down, get concrete, then come back up here. We might have to invent jump pads to finish this project. No, what we need to do is not cover up our ramp down. That was a bit of a mistake. So we need to find the exact box that, that that's there and delete only that one. Mm-hmm. It's somewhere near the middle. Everything. Everything, everything will be just fine. <laughs> hey. Dude. Don't write yourself Don't. off yet. <laughs> Why are we making it out of thick oak? It's only plates, in your helter skelter. There's, a, Look there's down smaller on. plates that don't take nearly the same amount of concrete. And you're going, it no, you're going it no longer thick says mode. Okay, so it's big enough because it no longer says floor is too steep. It just says can't afford and players in the way. Those are both temporary problems. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's How go much down. Uh, concrete? Four hundo. Okay. Uh, no, that's the research. But oh, also, how but much also, is it to make the but space also, port, then? but also, I need like 400. <laughs> uh, I had 500 because I need 500 for the task, but then I used it all up. Yeah, Oop, this is not the way down. Well, you went thicko mode. You weren't supposed to do thicko mode. Well, the th the thinno ones look stupid, though. Oh, they're all different. They, oh no, we were cheap. making we were making d different sized plates so that looks weird. <laughs> it does, but only from below, which is where we always will be. <laughs> Yeah. Ah! Climbing down ladders is oh, hard. Yeah, that looks really, really bad. <laughs> it's a secret problem the whole time that we couldn't see what's happening. The best part is that if we put the spaceport down, we basically that that will kind of become a permanent issue. Is whenever we get research, is it going to fly into the top of that plate? Uh, it looks like it will. <laughs> I guess we can always move our HQ, too. Yeah. Oh, cool. While we were gone, 70 cement was made. Time to increase the uh, cement production. <laughs> I mean, you can always just sit over here and make some cement Wait. with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. I mean, you know how that, how that expression goes. Right. Watch spot we, boils the solution, fast. the solution is not to make more assemblers. The solution is to increase the rate at which the limestone is being moved. Oh. He this? knows the way. Well, because the um. Oh, that's a lot of iron that just go that just stops here. Yeah, this is iron that I was working on getting out oh. here and then was like, well, we don't really have a use for it yet, so I gave up. <laughs> Do you see the, uh, uh, I don't even know where you are. Uh, oh, you're right next to me. Look at the tick. The flea hey, guy. What? Is he just like, move, start moving again. He's currently, he's currently yelling in the sky. So I want to start walking again. Oh, he's standing up. That's cute. He's looking around. Where? Go back to, ah, oh, damn, he's walking now. The flea tick giraffe monster was just sliding around instead of oh. walking. It was very cute. Hmm. <laughs> so we can't so make to upgrade okay. the conveyor belts. Well, I'm looking at doing that. Well, I'm looking at it, and like this is the rate at which the the limestone smelt uh, miner is mining the limestone. So we can't really increase our bandwidth unless we find more limestone outcrops because well, the uh we can also increase the, the, uh, the, the constructor actually makes the cement faster than the limestone thing Min mines limestone <laughs> ow okay well we can oh yes so increasing the speed of the conveyor belts isn't actually going to accomplish anything no it'll just make them more spaced out um, visually <laughs> and accomplish no yeah. speed difference 